So he did become prime minister, and today the prime minister of all Indians, and he's proved that he wants to be the prime minister of all Indians. I feel, you know, as a defender of Indians and Hindus, I feel he goes overboard, you know, inviting people like Amir Khan, who may be a you know, good actor, but uh, I said, you know, that he feels that insecure in India, that he may leave India. You know, every time there is uh, some attack on church, he goes out of his way to convince Christians that, you know, they've always been free to uh, practice their religion in India, and they continue to be free to be practiced. You know, every time a Dalit, you know, commits suicide, he says, it breaks my, it breaks my heart for his mother. So he really shows that he's a min prime minister of all Indians. And yet, no, I don't think any prime minister, except maybe Mr. Trump, <laughs> has been so much slandered and attacked and, you know, vilified, oh both no. in the Indian media and Western media. Uh, one more minute, Francois. One more minute, Thank okay. You. So, you know, I gave a long talk about, you know, the myth of intolerance in India. So the myth of intolerance of Mr. Modi is also a total myth, because the man is, a, you know, has been a, practically a brahmacharya all his life, you know, he's, uh, he's devoted his life to a cause, you know, that the cause of uh, the Hindu spirituality, you know, he became a political leader by because he was asked and as a RSS member, he felt that, you know, he should obey. So he became prime minister by accident and, and I, I feel he's, a, you know, he's a wonderful person and he should have the support of all Indians, whether they're Hindus or Muslims or Christian, everybody should unite to make India give India the status that India deserved, that of a world superpower, you know, on par with China. We see that China um, is doing so good, but India, because of so many things, one of them is the creation of intolerance, is not doing as well as China.